Okay, so now we're gonna look at FPX import. So in the display tab, you can select different targets that we give you part of the face shift installation. That's the human head, for example. But you might want to import your own FPX model. And you can do that by clicking here on import. With this, you get to the FPX import page. And here you can select a new target, a new FPX model that you want to animate by clicking here on new target. And we take a classic model, the Golix model. And that's the one we want to animate now. You can directly see the model and you see the joints of the model as green little spheres. Now, the first thing you notice is that the scale is incorrect. So let's scale it up to have the same size. But at the same time, you see, okay, but the head alignment is also not correct. Now, before we start translating the model, you need to keep in mind that we actually have a joint neck and we want to map the head pose of our model onto the neck, onto the head of our target. And that we do joint based. And therefore, we can select the corresponding joint on our target model. So in this case, we would look for the Golix neck joint. Okay, because of that, now we directly have the two aligned, the two models based on that neck joint. So let's scale it up and we can still do a kind of translation so that we do have a nice alignment between the two models. Okay, very good. Now, we could also map the eyes for um, mapping the eye gaze. This model doesn't have um, eyeballs because they are um, yeah, spine surfaces and face shift we currently don't support spine surfaces. So let's just do the neck uh, for eyes. If you have a model that has eye joints, then you can map the eyes corresponding. Now we also want to map the expressions. And this is blend shape based. So we have here on the left hand side all the blend shape of our model. So for example, that would be the eye blink for our template. And now we want to map it to the corresponding blend shapes in our Golix model. So in this case, let's have a look there further down here. That's all the blend shapes of our Golix model. And in this case, for example, it would be left eye closed. That's the one. And we do for eye blink right, we do right eye closed. There we go. Okay, so with this, we directly map two of the blend shapes. Let's do one more. Um, jaw open, for example. In this case, we have to take the mouth open expression. Uh, this is, for example, the mustache mouth open. So let's take this one. And what you see directly, you can map it to multiple blend shapes. So here, that would be the mouth. You don't have to set it up to one. So it's really, it's you can map it to several blend shapes. And several blend shapes in face shift can also map to the same blend shapes. They will add up. So now here, in this case, we also have to have the, tea, uh, the tongue and also the teeth. So let's just... Take the lower jaw open, that's this one, okay. So let's take this. Now we have a name is Gorlix, we are fine with that. And we can take now this mapping and do a save mapping. So let's call this Gorlix mapping. And there we go. And once we have set this up, we can go back in. Now we have to restart tracking. And you will see, I can animate my Gorlix model. So if you have your own target, that's how you import it into FaceShift.